This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games at discounted prices at miniaturemarket.com. All right, welcome. Hello, my friends. It's the Game Boy Geek here. Thanks back to, for coming back to another live stream. It's been a few weeks since we've done this. We started doing this when all the social distancing happened, and many states are still doing quite a bit of that. We are here in Arizona. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since we've done this, so let's do this again. I've been trying to pick games uh, that transfer well to you playing along with me, and you're going to be able to do that today. Um, now, in the link of the description of this video, there is... Um, a little link that you can click and you'll be able to download the play sheets for today. Uh, you don't need to have a copy of the game, you just need to print out that sheet. Also, keep in mind that uh, this is live and so if you have any audio or video problems, let me know in the chat. There was a live forced update of the streaming software literally an hour before I went live here. I had everything tested and they did a forced update and some things weren't working quite right. The chat's a little mixed up right now. So let me know in the chat if things don't look or sound right. So I'm gonna give you a few minutes to go off and try to uh, print that out if you haven't yet. Now, when you print out the sheet, there's going to be two pages there. One is sort of a smaller map and one is a, one is a larger map. Uh, assuming things go well, we're gonna try to do one of each, a short game and a medium game. And the games are short. They're like 10 or 15 minutes each. Maybe the second one might be 20 minutes. Uh, so, so let's talk about tonight. Uh, we're going to be playing Trails of Tucana. This is from A Porter Games. Now, I just read in the chat room a few minutes ago that uh, it is... And it says, oh, good. Harold says it looks and sounds good. Thanks, Harold. Uh, so people said they hadn't heard of this yet. Actually, it's probably because this game is not yet out in North America. It came out last year at Essen in Germany uh, at the Essen Spiel Fair. And... Uh, a lot of my trusted reviewer friends like Z Garcia and Rado, they loved the game and I've liked some of their other games like this. And so I had them send me a copy so I could do this stream just for you guys because it's going to be coming out in North America soon. This is sort of a flip and write game. We're going to be flipping cards and you're going to be drawing on a map. So hopefully you've been able to print those maps out in advance. Definitely do it in color because the colors matter in this game if you haven't done it yet. But without further ado, uh, why don't we just get started? I'm going to jump into explaining how the game's played, and I'm also going to teach you things as we go on as well. So I'm not going to teach you all the rules up front, but it is a pretty simple game. So let's go here. We are in this. So what are we doing in Trails of Tucano? We are essentially, everyone has this map, and over the course of the game, we're going to be drawing these different sort of lines on your map. And what are you trying to do? Well, there's three ways to score in this game. One of them is by connecting what's called sightings. If you look on my map, it might be hard on your map, there's an obelisk, there's a toucan, there's uh, a yeti, there's a book, there's a sea monster. Different things on your map, those are called sightings. Now all of those different logos of those different ones are up here in the upper right hand orange section. You'll see the different icons there. And in this beginning game, which right now, make sure you're playing the one up top that says Isla Petite. Okay, this is the first map we're going to play. Now, up here, it has the, the different things there, the obelisks and the books and the toucan. Okay, and in this first map, there's two of each of these on your map. And one way to score is to be able to draw a line from one of those sightings to any one of the villages. See, at the beginning of the game, you don't have anything here yet, but in a minute, we're going to set this up. So you're going to have different letters around the edges where the numbers are. We're going to set that up in just a moment. Don't worry that you don't have anything there yet. And the object is these are just different lettered villages, and you're trying to draw a line from these different sightings to the village. If you're able to do that, you'll get a certain amount of points here in the upper right. For example, if you're able to get from an obelisk to a village, if you look at yours, the first time you do that, you'll get a point. You'll be able to circle that. Uh, the second time you do that, meaning getting the second one to a village, you'll get two points, plus you'll get like sort of a bonus little line to write. More details on that later. But if you look, as you go top to bottom, they get more and more points because those ones are a little harder to get. For example, the sea monster, uh, you'll get four points for the first one and five points for the second one. Now, why are those harder? Well, in the upper left, you'll see that there's different numbers and terrains. On your map, there's different terrains. The blue is water, the green is forest, the sort of brownish is mountains, and the other is desert. And to the left, you'll see that at the top left, you'll see eight. That means there's eight deserts, there's seven forests, six mountains, and four water. So there's less and less of each of those. That's a legend you'll want to look at for the, uh, during the game. 
Uh, and so you'll want to look at that. And so it's a little bit harder to get that. So again, one of the main ways to score is you're going to be drawing lines throughout the game and you're trying to get your sightings to uh, uh, any village, any lettered village. And by the way, you can have multiple things going to the same village. That's quite okay. The second thing that you'll be trying to do is in this blue region over here on the right, you're going to be trying to connect like lettered villages. For example, right here, I have village A. And I was able to connect this all the way to this village A through a line. It doesn't matter how it gets there, as long as it gets there. And this was a previous game, of course, that I played. And so because I did that, I was able to circle this and get 14 points. Now, I also did it for village B to B and was able to get that. Now, also, it's sort of a race because over here, you'll see blue bonus cards. If I was the first to be able to get A to A, I'd get this bonus card. It'd be three extra points. This card's then going to go away, and if somebody does it later, they'll be able to get two points. So it's sort of a race for some of these. And so I was able to get two bonus points. So at the end of the game, we're going to be adding up all these points, and, and you'll get a total score. Now, one last thing before we get started. It's very important to know that these sightings over here, not only are you going to score this uh, at the end of the first round. We have a deck of cards, and each turn, I'm going to flip over two of these cards, and it's just going to be these different terrain types, and that's going to show you where you can draw your lines. Well, we're going to go through the entire deck, and that's going to be the end of the round one, which is essentially half the game. We'll shuffle the cards up, and we'll go again. The thing is, is that everything that you've circled on the first half of the game is going to score when we finish this deck for the first time. However, when we finish it for the second time, you're going to score this entire region again, which means anything that you're able to circle in this upper right in the first half of the game is going to score twice. So that's the most important thing to note. Other than that, I think we're ready to get going and get started. So what we're going to do is I have got this set up here. Uh, there is a setup card that we're using. It's pretty random. What I want you to do is i have this little card here uh, what i want you to do is there's numbers one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you'll see those are on the edge randomly right now pick a number it does not matter which one pick one of those random numbers and just put your pencil there right now okay now i'm going to call out letters and as i call these out you're going to write it the first one you're going to write on the number that you're on now so for example wherever your pencil is write the letter d is dan and don't make it number one, make it a different number. Okay, so whatever that number is, you're going to write D. Then you're going to go to the next number clockwise, which will be the next number sequential. For example, if you put your D on four, your next one letter, which is going to be on five, and so on and so forth. So wherever you wrote your D, go clockwise and look for the next number. These are all around the edges of the map. And the next letter you're going to write is A. I'm using this little setup card to do this. But I'm kind of pointing this because it's a little easier to see. So you can put D on your first number, A on the next clockwise number, D is Dan on the next clockwise number. Go to the next number, you'll write B is boy. Okay, you'll go to the next number clockwise, A is apple. You'll go to the next number, E. You'll go to the next number clockwise, you'll write C. You'll go to the next number, write E. To the next number, write C. And to your last number, write B as boy. So you should basically have those letters in order clockwise, but your starting point will be different from mine, most likely. So that's the setup. And those are the villages you're trying to connect to. One more thing, there's an additional bonus. In this game, if you connect a the book to the other book, you'll get six points. If you, by the way, get any of these bonuses, you don't have to worry about telling me. If you're in the audience and you get it, you're just going to write down the bonus number uh, in this section right here where it's yellow. I'll help you out as we go along. So we're gonna start the game. And so I'm gonna flip up these two cards. Ooh, okay. So we have a forest and we have a desert. So anywhere on your map, you find a forest that is adjacent to a, uh, a desert. And adjacent means anywhere surrounding it. And you're simply going to draw a line from the middle of the desert to the middle of the forest. For example, maybe I want, uh, let's say, maybe I want this D. I want to start working on D over here. Or maybe I want, you know what, let's do this. I'm going to take the toucan right here, and this is a forest. And I'm going to draw a line from that forest to this desert. Now, from these two terrain types, it has to be adjacent. 
So this one is right next to this one. So you can draw a line from any forest to any desert as long as it's next to each other. Just put a little dot in the middle and draw it to the middle of the next one. That's pretty much all we're going to be doing all game. Now, as we go forward, you don't have to necessarily connect these to anything, uh, but you're going to want to eventually. So you're going to draw a line from any desert to any adjacent forest. That's what you're going to, going to do first. And as you're doing that, let me just double check that the stream is going okay. All right, it is. Okay, so I'm going to select the next two cards. Okay, so we have water and mountain. And again, the mountain is the darker gray, and the water is the blue. Now, you can put this anywhere. Again, it has to be a water next to a mountain. Um, you can, you could touch this if it was a legal move. Um, it's not right now. So you're trying to, again, try, your, your, your strategy is going to be both, you know, longer term, trying to connect the toucan to, some of the, to any one village. And you're also going to be trying to connect villages to the like-lettered village. So today, let's see. Okay, we've got a water and a mountain. Hmm. So I think I'm going to connect my water here to this mountain here. Now, why would I do that? Well, remember, if we get the sea monster to any village, I'm going to get four points. So I'm going to try to get this. Now, it's going to be hard to get water to water because there's only four of those in the entire deck. But there's a couple of wilds as well. So again, you're going to draw a mountain to a water anywhere on your board. Then we're going to go to the next one. Ooh, a mountain to mountain. So you have to find a mountain that's next to a mountain, and you're going to have to connect those together. So I think I am going to go this Yeti to this one like this. Okay. Again, the three ways to score is to get any one of these to a village, also villages to other villages. All right, we're going to go to the next one. We have desert to water. Okay. Desert to water. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to go maybe. Ooh, interesting. I th I've got lots of choices. I, I like these sea monsters, so I'm going to go like this and over this. Just like that on mine. So desert to water for everybody. Now, if I wanted to, I could have gone from, this is showing you how you could connect things. I could have went from this water right here to this desert, and it would have just essentially have lengthened that line. Okay? And by the way, you can't have lines coming in from multiple places. It's quite okay. Now, you'll probably have that at the end of the game. So we're going to go to the next card. We have desert and desert. Interesting. All right. Hmm. I think I'm going to go here to here, setting up a village there. Because look at this. I have this E village, and I'm putting the desert to here because I'm close to connecting the two most prestigious sightings. If I connect both of these to this, I'm going to end up getting seven total points there. Three for the Yeti and four for the Sea Monster. Okay, so you're done with the two deserts. We're going to go here and go mountain and desert. Oh, this is perfect for me. Look at this. Mountain to desert. I have just connected a Yeti right here to Village E. So I'm going to circle this Yeti three points. That's going to give me three points both at the end of the first round and at the end of the game because I've been able to do that. Now, just because I connected this to Village E doesn't mean I can't connect something else. You can connect more than one things to Village E. So if I'm able to get a desert to a mountain, I'm going to be able to connect the sea monster there as well. I hope that makes sense to you. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the chat window. I don't see a lot of activity on the chat today. Maybe you guys are just, this is a little bit more thinky than some of the other games we've played. But let me know if everything's okay. Looks like the stream's doing okay. And there we have it. So we're going to go to the next one. We have forest and water. All right, forest and water. Hmm. Okay. Whew, this is going to be a tough one. I think... I'm going to go like this. Why am I doing this? Well, I know that putting the villages together is good, so I might try to get this E to come down to this other E because they're kind of close, at least on my board like that. But again, everyone's board's probably going to be a little bit different, so I'll have different strategies. The next one is forest to forest. All right. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to go like this, just like that. All right. All right, we're going to go to the next one. We have desert and wild. So it can be desert to anything next to it because this is a wild. There's only two wilds in the game. So a desert to a wild. Now remember, water and mountains have the least amount. So if it's advantageous to use that, go ahead and do that now. Desert to anything. 
Hmm. No, I'm going to go like this. All right. The next one is Forest to Water. Ooh, Forest to Water, huh? Oof. I got a lot of long-term planning going on. Okay, the next one, Wild to Forest. So Forest to anything, essentially. Hmm. Forest to anything. All right, now notice that I said you could have multiple lines. This one right here, I've got a bunch of things going to this one water spot. Now, guys, just so you know, we only have two turns left in the first round. If you have connected any village with any same lettered village, you will look at the village. So let's say you connected A to A. You'll write three, which is what how many points that is, and you'll write it right here in this lower section where you have a bunch of boxes. It matches that star there. Okay? And you don't have to mention anything that you've done that. And we only have two more flips before the first round is over. Okay, looks like the stream is still running good. All right, we have Forest to Desert. Forest to Desert. Hmm. Forest to Desert. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to go like this to that. And the last one of the round is Mountain to Desert. Mountain to Desert. Hmm. Okay. okay, so I just connected the toucan, just like that. Okay, didn't have a great first round. Okay, so that is the end of the first round. So what you're going to do is, uh, on the lower right-hand side, you'll see the little uh, telescope in orange. It has a little number one next to it. You, again, if you have connected any of these sightings to any of the villages, you will uh, you would have circled that first one. If you have connected both of them, you would have circled this other one and you would have gotten points plus an immediate another line uh, you know, on your board. And let's see. So you're going to add up everything that you circled. So in this case, I have five, which is not very good. <laughs> so I'm going to put my five right here. Now remember, these are going to score again in the second round. So you're going to do that like that. All right. Now, if you do get this bonus one where you get to draw another line, you draw it between any two adjacent sections on your map. So what we're going to do is we're just going to shuffle these up, and we're going to have the second round here. Now, if you, again, if you went book to book, you would have gotten six points. However, at the end of the first round, this goes away, so that's no longer there. And we are going to shuffle these cards up real quick, and we're going to have the second half of this game. How's everyone doing out there, you guys? How many points did you guys get so far for the uh, round one sightings? I only got five. How many do you guys have out there? All right. In the meantime, here we go. We're going to start the second round. I've got... Okay, so we're at Mountain and Desert. Mountain and Desert. All right, let's see. Okay, we have uh, one in three from Harold. Uh, Delta Warriors got seven. Someone got 15. Wow. They got... Whoa, Okay. Well, I'm way behind everybody. Okay, so mountain to desert. Mountain to desert. Ooh, I think I needed that earlier. Okay. Mountain to desert. I got sea monster. Okay. Okay, so I want to let you know we've done the first flip in the sec in the second round here. After the fifth flip, this is how we're playing it for the stream. The publisher gave me some some advice on how to do this. After the fifth flip, all of these number one cards are going to go away. So if you're close to connecting villages, you're going to want to do it to get the better bonus because those are going to go away four turns from now, just so you know. Okay, the next one is going to be Desert to Desert. Hmm, I don't want that. I don't like that one. No! Thank you, Homer. Um, desert to Desert. I don't like that one. It does me almost no good. Jeez. Yeah, I do not like that. 
Let's try to do this. I don't know if that's going to do anything. All right. Hey, someone's uh, okay. To die for games. Hey, to die for games. I know you. This is going to be a. This is so. This is a fun game. Uh, okay. That Mandy there with to die for games. Oh, uh, we got mountain to mountain. All right. Let's see. I'm going to go mountain to mountain. Mountain to mountain. Ah, yep. Okay. Well, thanks for joining, Mandy. I'm used to seeing your name on there, not your channel. Okay. So we went mountain to mountain. The next one is water to desert. Oh, gosh. Water to desert. This is not good for me. <laughs> Another Homer. No! Oh, man. You're despicable. That's what I think about the cards. Daffy Duck's telling us uh, you're despicable. All right, let's see. What was it? Water to desert. Oh, man, I got to get that B over there. So, okay, we'll go over here. Water to desert. Oh, we'll do this. Oh, good. I got a toucan. All right, so I just got the second toucan here. So remember, anytime you get the second time, you get the same sighting. You're going to circle the larger one on the right. You'll end up getting those points at the end. But you get to draw any one line from any two things. So watch this. I'm going to do a bonus thing here. I get a bonus line. I'm going to draw this to here, which is also going to get me the second monster, sea monster, which then gives me another bonus. And I'm going to kind of do, mm, I'm going to do, this. All right. So that was like a big combo for me. Okay. Desert to mountains. But I want to point it out so you can see how that works. All right. Desert to mountain. Desert to mountain. Hmm. And that was the one, two, three. Okay. So that's the fifth. So all the number one cards are going to go away here in just a minute. This is your last chance to get a village to village bonus. Desert to mountain. Oh, man. I'm not sure if that's good for me. Okay. All right, so I'm going to remove all of the number one cards. So now, if you get a bonus now, you still don't have to say anything, but you'll get the smaller points now if you get a village to village. Now, remember, if you get village to village, you'll always circle the number next to it here because you're going to get those points. These extra bonus points for that village to village connection will go in this area right here, this yellow section. Okay. All right, next one. We have forest to forest. Ooh, I could have used that earlier. Let's see if I get B to B. Oh, I'm close to getting E to E. Oh, I almost got it, actually. Darn it. Oh, man. All right. Forest to forest to Dover. We're going water to forest. Water to forest. Ooh, okay. B, okay. All right. We're getting there. We're almost done with the first game, folks. Ooh, wild to desert. Oh, I know. I needed. I needed. No, no. <laughs> oh, okay. That's not bad. Uh, oh man. All right. Okay. I'm trying to get that E to E over here. All right. Wild to desert, folks. Now we've got desert to forest. Perfect. Okay. All right, everyone. Check this out. I just finished E to E. Now, when you guys get Village to Village, you don't have to tell me. We're not going to remove it. When the audience gets it, you'll get that many points. However, because I have finished E to E, this is going to go away. And the publisher mentioned that this is a good idea because you can be looking at what I'm going for, and it will change your strategy. So I'm actually going to get five points here. And I get to circle E to E, which is ten points. And E to E is no longer available for the audience. I'm close to getting B to B and A to, uh, B, to B, I guess, is the only other one. All right, we got water, uh, uh, sorry, wild to forest. Hmm. Wild to forest. I think I'm going to click this. I'm trying to get that B to B done. I'm close to getting B to B, so if anyone else is close to that, you might want to focus on it, because if I get it, that card's going to go away. Hmm. All right. Where's the second Yeti? Oh, he's way over there. All right, desert to water. Desert to water. Hmm. Desert to water. All right, I'll bite on this one over here. We're almost done. We have two flips left, okay? Oh, someone just got B2B. Cool. Well, just because you got it, thanks for letting me know, but everyone still can still get that. It only goes away if I do it. Forest to mountain. Forest to mountain. Yes! Okay, folks, I just got B2B. 
So the B2B card is going to go away. And, oops, for the last flip, we have Mountain to Water. And that is it. Mountain to Water. Oh, Mountain to Water. I don't think it's going to help me out too much. Nope, it won't matter. Okay, we've just finished. So, what you're going to do now is remember, count all of the points that are circled, meaning the ones that you circled in the first round and the second round, doesn't matter. Everything you circled in this orange area, you're going to add those up, and you're going to draw it in this section here, which has the number two next to it for round two. So go ahead and do that. 17. Um, then in the blue spot, you're going to, you're going to uh, add up all the spots that you circled here for doing villages to villages. And then in the yellow star spot, you're going to mark all the bonuses you got from the villages that you wrote in here. All right. Wow, this is terrible. My last game, <laughs> my last game, I got 73. This game, I only got 52. I did absolutely terrible this game. How did you guys do? Uh, I got 52. Uh, let me know how you guys did. We'll see how how bad I did compared to you guys. In the meantime, I'll start shuffling these cards because we're about to do the second one. So 52 points. Let me know what you guys did there. All right. I'll get this camera back up. Okay, so um, what you're going to do? Uh, let's see. You guys done tallying your scores? How did you guys do there? Let me know in the chat. We'll check the stream and make sure everything's going good. Then we're going to get ready to set up the second round. And, okay, stream is still going good. All right. So, let me know in the chat that you did that. I'm going to get ready for the second round. Uh, so give me about 30 seconds. And in the meantime, I'll have you watch this. Did you miss the Game Topper 2.0 Kickstarter? Have no fear, it's not too late to get in on the ultimate gaming accessory. Convert your table into a high quality gaming table with a fully portable Game Topper system and take advantage of some of the best 3mm premium gaming mats in the industry. New styles, new sizes, and new accessories can be yours. Upgrade every game you play by late backing now at GameToppersLLC.com. Okay, here we go. Sorry, the sound's back on. Sorry about that. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, okay, so we set up the second one. What you're going to want to do is Ila Grande is the map we're doing. I don't know what happened with the sound. It looked like the mic got turned off. Um, thank you for letting me know that. By the way, we're going to look at the chat. So the scoring was we got 51, 45, 75, 65. I only got 52. Uh, so I did actually, I didn't do that well. <laughs> you guys did much better than I did. And so, okay, so what we're going to do is use the eye of the ground. It's the same thing as before, but instead of, instead of using two rounds, we're going to use three. So you actually need to get all three of the sightings in order to get the bonus, uh, the bonus draw. So again, what I want you to do is, on this bigger Isla Grande, you're going to pick a random number, one through ten. Pick a different number than you did last time. Put your pencil there on that. And we're gonna, I'm going to give you letters in order. And just like before, you're going to write the letter I tell you where your pencil is. Then you're just going to move it clockwise to the next number uh, around the edge of the map. And I'm going to tell you the letters to write. Ready? First letter is C is cat. Next one is A is apple. Next one is E as in Eve. 
The next one is C as cat. The next one is B as boy. The next one is A as apple. The next one is D as Daniel. The next is E. The next is B as boy. And the last one is D as Daniel again. Okay. Now again, this is going to work exactly the same way, except the map's bigger and there's more sightings and there's three rounds instead of two, but we'll go a little faster. Uh, and I don't have to teach the game as much, so it'll probably take about the same time. All right. We are at desert and forest. Desert and forest. Hmm, okay. Desert and forest. Oh my gosh. My, my mind has just exploded. <laughs> Lots more choices. Desert and forest. Hmm. Okay. Well. Okay. Yeah, these choices at the beginning are tough. There's, as you can see, you know, just adding one more of everything and making the grid bigger. It, there's a, there's just a lot more going on here. By the way, remember, um, the first two rounds you can possibly get a uh, obelisk to obelisk. So if you if you get any of the obelisks to any of the other ones, you'll write six in this bonus spot here. This will go away at the end of the second round, which will be the beginning of the last round. Okay, we have water and forest. Well, yes, please. I like that one. Let's go sea monsters. <laughs> I like that one. So we're going to say... Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! All right, a little Austin Powers there. All right, forest and desert. If I'm going too fast, let me know. We're going to try to move a little faster in this one. Desert and forest? Hmm, desert and forest. Okay. All right. Forest and forest. Okay, we got double forest here. Hmm, where should we go with that? I think I'm going to go about right there. All right, I like that one. It helped out a lot. Holy shnikes. Holy shnikes. Thank you, Tommy Boy. We got double forest going up in here. All right, we got... Water, ooh, water and wild. That's great. I love that one. <laughs> Thank you, Daffy Duck. Uh, we have water and wild, which is great because essentially you can get two waters, which is the hardest thing to get. So if you're, ooh, and I'm gonna use the two waters here. I have a sea monster. Oh yeah, I love that. I've already got a sea monster sighting into a village. All right. We're going to go to the next one. Desert and mountain. Desert and mountain. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Excellent. Desert and mountain. We have... Oh my goodness gracious! Yeah! Yeah! Get up there and wham! A homa! Wham! Another homa! Wham! Wham! <laughs> wham! Wham! wham. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love that baseball from Bugs Bunny. We, I did that because I, we got double water again, essentially. Water and wild. I've never seen that happen in the same game. That is amazing. I think, okay, yeah, let's go sea monsters. <laughs> that is fantastic. All right. We have desert and forest. Yes. Uh, hmm. Desert and forest, okay. Ugh. Hmm. Tough one. All right. We have mountain and forest. No oh, figures. I don't like this guy over here. Interesting. Mountain and forest. Okay, next one is mountain and desert. Mountain and desert. Heesh. Should we get that over here? Oh, I got this, actually. I forgot about that. Mountain and desert. Hmm. All right, I'm going to work on that C to C. Desert and mountain again. Desert and mountain. Hmm. Alright, 
We have mountain and desert again. Wow, this is crazy. Mountain and desert. Hmm. I think I'm scatterbrained on this one. I am like all over the place on this one. I'm going to need a lot of stuff. This is the last flip of the first round. We've got desert and mountain again. It's crazy. Of course, you know, well, no, there's not that many mountains. Desert and mountain. What am I going to do with this? I don't necessarily like that one. Hmm. No! Oh, man. Desert and mountain. Eesh. Not cool. I'm really at a loss here. I think I just went. Okay, so that's the end of the first round. I'm going to shuffle these up. We're going to go with the second round. All right. Well, thank you, to, 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 uh, Mandy from Today for Games is leaving everyone. Thank you, Mandy, for joining. It's awesome. I got to see a little bit of your live stream on Renegade Game Studios, the Search for Planet X. She was on a live stream just before mine. All right. Thank you, Mandy, for popping in. Okay, here we go. Round two. All right, we have desert and mountain. Uh, sorry, desert and water. Desert and water. Hmm. Oh, I like this. All right. Ooh, I'm close to getting another sea monster. Okay, the next one. Forest and desert. Hmm. Forest and desert. Perfect. All right. I have a sea monster and a yeti. This is good. This is good. Can I get that C up to there? This would be nice. All right. Next one. Mountain and desert. Hmm. Okay. Mountain and desert. All right. Water and desert. Water and desert. Hmm. Tough choices here. Get that sea monster over there. Desert and water? Wow, again. Hmm. Desert and water, everybody. If I'm moving too fast, let me know in the chat. I, uh, ooh, double forest. Let's hear it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Uh, yeah, baby. Double forest. Hmm, what do I want to do with that? Ooh, so many options for double forest. What shall I do? I like that. Oh, man. Water and desert. Yeesh. Okay, I gotta go. Water and desert. Remember, at the end of this round, this red one for obelisk to obelisk is going to go away. Uh oh, another double. Oh, groovy, baby. Yeah. <laughs> groovy, baby. We got two forests. Oh, man. What am I going to do with this? So many options. Head is exploding. Um, hmm. Two forests, huh? Ugh. All right. Forest and mountain. Oh, yes. I'm one away from get. Okay, everyone, I'm one away from getting a C to C, which would remove this card. So if you're close to C to C, you might, might want to might wanna focus on that. Next one is mountain to desert. Mountain to desert. Oh, man, I'm so close. All right, I just got a Yeti. Nice. Where's the third Yeti? He's way down there. All right, the next one is Desert to Desert. Hmm. What am I going to do now? Sheesh. Desert to Desert, huh? Okay. Ooh, Wild to Forest. Wild to Forest. Can I Can I get it? Can I get? Yes, I can. Right there. Okay, everyone. I just got C to C. 
So this card's going away. So if you get C to C from now on, it's just going to be worth three points in this spot right there. Ooh, can I get D to D? Mountain and Mountain. Oh my goodness gracious. I was so close to getting this before it went away. I was one spot away. Darn it. I was so close. All right, that is the end of the second round. No, man, I was so close. I was working on that the whole time, and I was so close to getting I was like one spot away in like three different places to get that double obelisk for the six points. So we're going on the final round. Uh, so a reminder, on this final round, uh, after the fifth flip, all these, uh, all the number one cards with the better bonuses are going away. So if you're close to getting a village-to-village -village bonus, you're going to want to concentrate at, concentrate on that the first five cards that are there. Uh, and so, yeah. So last round here, we're almost completed. All right, here we go. Last round. Oh, by the way, <laughs> before I start this, we were supposed to at the end of each of these rounds, count up the points. I totally missed that. I am so sorry. Uh, it was eight the first round, and then all of them were. I apologize. When I, when I missed round one to round two, we were supposed to add up everything we had done. So if, if it's possible for you to remember which ones you got last round, just take the numbers of the ones you got the first round, put it in number one, and take all the numbers that you see now and put it in round number two down here. Sorry, I missed that little spot to scoring. Uh, I was too busy shuffling and yapping my mouth. <laughs> so, there we go. All right. Here we go. Sorry about that. Maybe you guys were smart enough to do it without me telling you. <laughs> Probably. I'm guessing. All right. So, we have forest and desert. All right. What the heck am I focusing on again? I got to recalibrate here. Forest and desert. Ooh. Uh, yes. Perfect. All right. Forest and water. All right. Forest and water. All right. I'll go here and get a toucan. Forest and water. Man, I'm close to getting a bunch of bonuses and from some of the best ones. Desert, oh, desert to wild. Ooh, that's going to be nice. Desert to wild. I'm going to go here and get a book. And the last monster, which is going to get me a bonus. Oh, interesting. Hmm. I think I'm going to go here. All right. Desert, and this is the fifth flip. One, two, no, this is the fourth flip. After the next one, all these top cards will go away. We got desert and mountain. Oh, good. Desert and mountain. I got the last Yeti, which is going to give me a bonus. Uh, which I will do there. All right. Next one is oh, wild to desert. Wild to desert. Hmm. Go here and get a toucan. All right, all the number one cards are gone. So if you get a bonus, you're going to get the smaller bonuses. Okay, we got desert to water. Desert to water. Whew. Oh, man, desert to water. Desert to water. Oof. Mountain to mountain. Mm, I could have used that earlier. Sheesh. Mountain to mountain, huh? It's not really going to help me. All right, water to desert, again. Ooh. 
Where's the third toucan? Let's see. Oh, I do have a third toucan. Um, desert to mountain. Hmm, desert to mountain. Desert to mountain again. Hmm. Okay, I forgot about this. Only uh, two flips left, if ever over. Forest to forest. Hmm. Darn it. Ah, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> I did so bad. Oh my gosh. Forest. Oh, sorry, we got one more flip after this. Forest to water. And for the last one, we have forest to desert. Ooh, I actually got it. I got D to D on my last one. Wow. Okay, that's it. So now you're going to add up all the points that you have circled in your orange and put it in round number three. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. And don't forget to add up all your blues and put them here. All right, and then add up all your bonus points. I'm going to use my cal calculator on this one. Oh, groovy, baby. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to get my calculator going. All right, I'm at 107. What is everybody else's points? I'm at 107. Did you guys like this game? Let me know if you liked it. It's coming out soon. Trails of Tucana. Where's the box? It's on the floor over here. Let me grab it real quick. Yeah, here we go. There's the box. Trails of Tucana. All right, what did you guys think? Did you like this one? And if you did, it's coming out soon. And what did you guys get for scores? Harold got 80. Ooh, maybe I did. I still think, man, this was a tough one. The 70 there. Oh, we have 80. Let me know how you guys did. Uh, also, let me know in the comments if you've liked this. And if you're watching this in the future, um, you know, you can also make comments later as well. Uh, 82 for Craig. Wow, I guess I did do pretty good. I wonder if I added wrong. <laughs> That's always a possibility. Uh, I'll have to go back and check later. 97. Okay, we're getting pretty good there. So, all right. Well, this is... 97 okay so we got some good things there so uh keep putting those in the comments as we go and i'm gonna leave you as always on my live streams with a fun little song by my friend cartman from <laughs> from south park we've got my best friend we've always been together we're forever kind having fun all day piling around and laughing away we've got my best friend we've always been together we're forever kind having fun all day piling around and laughing away just best friends I love you guys. This has been the Game Boy Geek, breaking down barriers, growing relationships through board games by helping you find the next one you'll love. Yeah.